traffic in Sydney starts between 4 and 5. I would say still early. I hope I'm gonna manage somehow to, to avoid this peak hour traffic. You never know. That's why I'm leaving at least 60 minutes before the actual booking time. As long as this booking is within the metropolitan area. So in order to get to this location where I'm actually picking up, I've got a couple of different routes. Uh, one of them could be this road which takes us out to the Eastern Shibuya Tunnel. My name is Ratko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. Okay, so the locker, the locker for the trailer goes here. This trail in particular that goes in the V-class, it's a 7-pin. Look at the other trailer, see nothing special about this. And for extra security, I use this pin. Check the lights first. Usually I start the four blinkers on the van and also I'm gonna check if they're working on the trailer, which is that the case and I'm good to go. And always make sure there's a spare wheel on the trailer because you never know what can happen. So we are good to go. Well, actually, always I'm trying to have my jacket on, regardless if I'm driving with passenger or no passenger. I always tend to have my jacket. See so that trailer is attached, uh, and we are going to pick up the client 4:30. Is that trailer still coming? It looks it does. Uh, let's go. It's currently 35 minutes past 3 and my pickup is half past 4 which is uh, from a suburb not far from central Sydney. I always allow myself uh, at least one hour, at least 60 minutes in order to get to the pickup location. suburban place here in Sydney not quite central but it takes only only five minutes to, to central Sydney from here from from this place and um, what is this place known for this place is known for the Sydney Star Casino Ray speaking very good thanks how are you
uh, I'm actually no I didn't I didn't check the message I'm arriving in 10 minutes so take your time I didn't see the message but um, take your time whenever you ready we will we'll go so this was uh, the client that uh, uh, she she wanted to push the time another half an hour which is happening which is happening most not all the time but I can say it's uh, happening occasionally. The client uh, texted me when I was driving. I wasn't able to, to read the text. And uh, they said, uh, can we push this for another half an hour? Which is perfectly fine. You always try to accommodate the, uh, the client needs. You can't say, no, I can't. Even if you say, I can't do it, there's nothing much you can help the situation. So this is the place where I'm picking up these people from, not far from this place. So since they push, they, they, um, they pick up for another half an hour, I'm gonna probably wait here for another 10 minutes, 10 10 to 15 minutes and then proceed to the pickup location. Okay, since they they postponed they the pickup time, so now I've got nothing to do, just wait here on the street and maybe kill some few minutes. There's a little bench here, there's a little park, and changes happen all the time. I mean as long as it does not interfere with my next booking. Usually if it does, some chauffeurs, they might charge waiting time only because they might miss the next booking, but now it's all good. There's nothing much I can do, just wait another 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes whenever they come out. So it's uh, quarter to five and uh, I gave him another 15 minutes and I think it's time to go and see what happens.